Welcome back everybody, Room with Texas All Water Fishing. And uh, before we get started, I just wanna thank each and every one of you for clicking on this video. You know, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please go and do so, like the video, leave a comment, all that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously. Well, Charles and myself and Laddie, we went out and we wanted to target some sheephead, one of my favorite fish to catch uh, inshore. You know, it is the sheephead run or the beginning of the sheephead run. We were catching some really, really good numbers right before we got into the rain. It's raining outside right now, but we, we got it. We were getting some really good numbers. Everybody's getting some really good numbers of some sheephead in and around the jetties, even on the beachfront. So we wanted to tap in a little bit of that action. Unfortunately, we just had some rain the night before. We had really strong wind the day before. It was probably gusting around 20 to 30 miles an hour. And we saw that like soon as we met at the dike, soon as we launched at the dike, we saw uh, there was a lot of chop. We had to take it really slow going around. So I was afraid because of all the rain and all the, ch uh, the wind and the runoff and the chop was that the water conditions weren't gonna be favorable for sheephead and uh, we're gonna struggle a little bit. But before we head over to the jetties, we wanted to swing in and try to get a few bait fish. Uh, I was hoping to get some sand trout, um, possibly get into a bull red or two. Uh, I know right now it's more of the big ugly, the black drum run. So for those guys, you kind of want to have to take like cut crab and even squid, you know, more stinkier bait. Um, but I did, I was hoping that we would be able to find a, a red or two kind of hanging out the rocks while we were fishing the rocks for sheephead. Uh oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh my gosh! That's a purry croaker. That's a perfect size. There you go, Letty! Get him, Letty! Get him! Woohoo! Sand trout, what we're we looking for. Finally, finally, we are winning. Trying to catch bait. After we caught a few bait fish, we hit it over, and like I said, I knew it was going to be rough. I knew it was going to be bumpy. It was a little bit of a dishwasher in some in some situations. You know, we went around to the south jetty and curved around the other side because the beach side seemed, the beach side was a little less choppy than on the inside of the channel. The water clarity, just I just didn't like the water clarity. It just wasn't clean enough um, for me to, to really feel comfortable knowing that we were going to hook into some sheep heads. Now, my favorite rig that I like to use for sheephead, not only just the cork, but I also you like to use a little bit of split shot weight. And it's pretty simple. You know, you have your leader line, you put a split shot on it. And then I like to use an octopus hook or maybe even a J hook. And then at the end of the, uh, the end of your leader line, a nice little swivel and that connects to your main line. But it's pretty simple. You know, uh, the more current you have, the heavier the weight you want to get it down there by the rocks, uh, you can even free line shrimp a little bit and if you are running into situations where man you're just tired of getting hung up then that's when i kind of switch over to free line shrimp or even maybe throw the cork um, but this is my go-to with the little split shot put a couple of split shots on there sink it down between the rocks because that's where all the sheep heads are and that's where they're gonna be feeding and that's where you throw your live shrimp and then it's just money uh, if you're experienced that you're having uh, if you're having like a very strong currents and you experience that you're not really feeling the bottom that much, then I can I would even go switch up and go with a get her done rig with maybe half an ounce to an ounce uh, sinker on there. But after we fished there for a little while, you know, we tried a couple different spots on the jetties and there was a couple of different other people out there and I didn't see anybody pulling anything in and the only thing we really caught was hardhead. There we go. Ooh, he nailed that one. He nailed that one. That's a sheepy. That's a sheepy. Left, going left and right. Left and right. Might be a black drum, but I think it's a sheepy. Going left and right. Left and right. Oh! oh you know what? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I got another hard head. I can feel it. Oh, there we go. Take two. No, you don't need a net him. He's fine. Kind of what I was afraid of. Having the winds and having the rain. And uh, yeah, just not a good day for, day for sheepies. So we went with plan B and uh, yeah, we went on a bit of a hike. We went from the South Jetty to the North Jetty. We went over to the North Jetty. It was dirty, 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 dirty. After that, we went by the boat cut and after that we head over to Moses Lake. We wanted to go see what Moses Lake was holding. My fear was that Moses Lake was gonna be a little too fresh. And we got over there, saw a little bit of bait. 
but that was pretty much it. It was really, really, really fresh. Um, after that, we wanted to go fish around Pelican Island. There's some rock groins over there and the fish around Pelican Island cast a little bit. Hope that we maybe we can get a, a couple reds here and there. You know, maybe we can get a sheep head kind of hanging out. Maybe we can find a little better conditions. Oh, get away from the fresh water, get away from the sandy and the murky and the dirty um, turned up water better visibility um, as soon as we got over there man I hooked I was I switched up throwing the cork I hooked into something big and something very nice now unfortunately because I was already rigged up for sheephead I didn't change my hook and I still had one of these small little octopuses hooks on so that was my first fear because when it hit and took off my first guess was that it was either a uh, big ugly or it was a, um, a bull red and much to my surprise is that Charles and Laddie both caught smaller fish. They both hooked into smaller fish while I was fighting this monster I had on. You got him? What the hell? You scared me. Huh? Did you have a bite? Yeah, I took my bait. It was underwater and I wasn't paying attention. Look at that big old ball of stuff. Oh, there we go. That's one. You got one? Yep. Good. Of course, you got it. You sorry sack of button. That's a nice red. You got my red fish. Yep. All right, well, I'm going over there and getting another one. I told you I'd get it for this you. This dude pot licked me and got my fish. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You pot liquor? Oh, my gosh. This thing is gone. Oh, my gosh. You're on, too? Sweet. We're all on. I'm going to leave it out there. I'll, I'll real, I'll just... Now let's go mm. on there. What do you got? Got your black drum? Black drum? Yeah, it's a black yeah. drum. Yeah. <sighs> 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 I'm glad we spot locked and didn't. Why'd you get, why'd you get Ruben? He's still fighting him. Should be a red. You got him a good red. Oh, it's a red. A big ugly. He peeled off like a red though. He darted back and forth like a red too. Dude, caught my fish. <laughs> well, you missed him twice. I know, twice. You, you missed him twice. So you a jerk. I mean, I'll let you. Well, I'll oh, you're down again. I'll take him this time. You, you got that one? Is that a red? No. It's probably another black, but I got one. Oh, it's a flounder. It's a flounder. Yeah, it's a flatty. It's a flounder. Well, Almost. 14. Close. This guy's coming slowly but surely. Come on. We got a black drum, a flounder, and a redfish off this one spot. <laughs> See, I tell you, these drains are nice. They, they produce. This is going to be a 14 inch flounder. It's too big, too small. Oh, 13. See you later, buddy. Thanks for coming to the show. Here he comes right here. Get the net. Holding down like a big ugly, but I hope it's a red. Oh, 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 get off the boat! Get off the boat! Oh. I knew it, I was afraid I was gonna lose it. And that happens a lot. Yeah, they get close to the boat and they get a burst of energy and the fish get scared and they take off. And he kind of went underneath the boat a little bit. I didn't want to change the angle of my hook. I wanted to keep him, I wanted to keep him out here and keep the angle of my, of my hook, keep the angle of my line. When he went down, I was afraid that with me changing the angle of my hook and with this real small hook, it was just that little angle change was gonna give it enough that I pulled the hook and, and I did just that. It was heartbreaking. That fish really could have saved the day for us. Um, I was fishing with this new, this new reel. Man, you know what? I really love this reel. This reel came in, it was super clutch. I mean, it fought that fish like it was nothing. I mean, really did. It fought like it was nothing. Um, the, the fish was tough and it was strong and it was pulling a lot of line, but once I started cranking on it, I managed to get it, you know, pretty close, pretty fast. Uh, I, I'm digging this reel. I mean, I'm not too sure. I've never fished with uh, this brand before. I, I kind of took a um, took a shot in the dark on it and picked it up at Bass Pro Shop. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, excellent reel. 
um, especially hooking up to a big fish. <laughs> Especially hooking up to a big fish like that for a first time on the reel. I was very pleased with it and in my mind money well spent Love that reel. I'm gonna be fishing a lot with that bad boy and I tried a new line too, nomad line So captain Cody recommended the line and I went with it. It's all he uses um, You know in the past I've tried different a handful of different uh, fishing line and kind of like in the market right now for for fishing line so Figure I'll get that one to try, and uh, it, it lives up to its expectation. Cast great, it feels good. That reel cast great, it feels good. Reels good, uh, even fighting that bigger fish. Um, but you know what? After that, you know, we probably spend. Uh, we got in the water somewhere around 6:30, and I think we got off around maybe around close to three o'clock. You know, and that's a great thing about booking with Captain Code, uh, Captain Charles. Sorry, that's a, one of the great things about booking with Captain Charles is that. If you're not on the fish, he'll keep going until you find him. And uh, unfortunately, you know, the water conditions weren't in our favor. And uh, we, we kept trying and we covered a lot of water. And it's just one of those things, right? It's fishing. Uh, we had a good time uh, visiting with each other. We had a good time fishing. But, you know, Captain Charles will keep going and going and going and going. And he's never done. He's never done fishing. He's ready to keep going until either the client is done or the weather pushes you off. And uh, in this case, I think Laddie and myself were like, you know, that's... That's it, Charles. You know, that's about all we can give. You know, we cast a lot. We fished a lot. We we went everywhere up and down that that channel uh, trying to find them. And uh, unfortunately, you know, the sheepies weren't there. Um, maybe they ran a little deep. I I'm not too sure. I just wanted to give you guys a quick fishing report. I know the weekend's coming up. So possibly... Uh, you might be thinking about, you know what, you want to go out and target some sheephead. We're getting some rain right now, some really, really heavy rain in the Galveston area. So that might um, that might kind of do the same kind of deal where the water is going to be fresh and the water is going to be dirty. So just take your time, go out. I'll try to find like maybe some deeper holes or maybe some bigger open water, kind of like we did with the channel and, and fishing around the rocks there a little bit. Uh, maybe perhaps if we would start our day off there, we would have got into a little better luck. Um, are simply you know uh, taking some big crab because those big uglies are gonna be out there so maybe change it up and not fish for sheephead if that's what you're targeting and just go out and target some big uglies you know get some cut crab get some big hooks take some big rods out and uh, and target those those big uglies because they're they're moving in pretty thick numbers and they're fun they're just fun to catch and release don't forget to venom and release them properly and uh, yeah guys so I appreciate each and every one of you thanks for tuning in and to this fish report I'll let you know how it <laughs> I'll let you know how you can how it continues to go with this reel, but uh, I'm really digging it. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Hopefully, uh, I get a chance to get out on the water this weekend, and hopefully, you guys do too. Thanks again. Don't forget like, comment, subscribe, share, and until next time, hope you catch me. Look it up. Thanks.